Hello, and welcome to Mesquite Living Waters Fellowship's Wednesday's Word Series. We invite you now to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's message. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday's Word here at Living Waters Fellowship Church. The uh, sermonette that I've written for you this morning is called Missionaries, Christian Warriors, Missionaries. Over the past few months of summer, I was inspired to write some 30 short stories and sermonettes. It seemed that God would stir my heart to write every day and at all hours of the day or the night. I never knew what the subject matter would be or how it would be used. It was nearing the beginning of October of 2021 that my writing abruptly stopped and almost as, quick, almost as quickly as it had begun. Truth be known, I wasn't overly concerned about this and knew that God would prick my heart when he was ready and not before. I must admit, like, like any child full of mischief, I challenged this stoppage and deliberately sat at my computer waiting for those words to start. Nope, out of gas, a big zero. There was nothing for me to write about and I wondered why and what my Heavenly Father thought about me, my attempts to do something he had placed on hold. Have you ever noticed that when God wants you to do something, he puts it there in big bold letters so you can't miss it? Oh sure, if you're a big dummy like myself, you might ignore it for a while, but you can't run from it. That wall for me was a huge stack of books that God instructed me to read. What's most interesting is that in almost every case, each book told of Christian missionaries and how they were ministering to the lost, placing their lives on the line for Jesus Christ. Many stories were about suffering and martyrdom of men, women, and children who chose to preach God's holy word in the face of grave dangers. Each book, each story held me captive and deeply touched my heart. As much as I try and want to serve Jesus here in this world that I live in, I cannot know that special calling of those special, wonderful angels we call missionaries for Jesus Christ. Abba has placed it upon my heart to write about some of these special servants who have dedicated their lives to serving God, our Heavenly Father. Each of us has a picture of what a missionary actually is. Their duties and their responsibilities, an accurate definition of a missionary is one who is sent. Romans 10, 14, 16, Paul reminds us that unless one is sent, no preaching of the truth can take place. This is pretty much an accurate definition of a missionary because it conveys both authority and action. One who is sent is not merely acting upon his or her own authority, but instead the authority of the one who sent him or her. We must also delineate between a missionary and an apostle because the apostles of Christ were sent to fulfill a very specific task. Secondly, we must add the qualifier Christian. The term missionaries to the term missionaries to make it very distinct from others who would also claim to be missionaries. A Christian missionary is truly unmatched by any others because their authority comes from God himself. No ambassador is greater than the one who has sent him, John 13, 16, and there is none greater than God. With such a fortified authority, the action of a missionary is to bring God's holy word to those who do not know of God. The action of a missionary is to make disciples through teaching and baptizing in the holy name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bringing the good news to the lost. Those missionaries I am speaking of didn't just say, I want to be a missionary. In every case, God had touched their hearts of these incredible people. They could be school, they could be school teachers, doctors, nurses, preachers, carpenters, electricians, or have no skill set whatsoever beyond their love for Jesus Christ. The key factor is that God had touched their hearts, calling these special angels to serve him, bringing the good news to all the world. Our job titles and age have little to do with this divine calling. God, our Heavenly Father, created us from dust. We are his children, and he will give all that is needed to those he has called. We need to carry this definition one step further for everyone's understanding. 
Many of us serve Jesus Christ within our communities. Many of us serve Jesus Christ within our churches. These efforts are a calling upon our lives to reach out to others as servants of Jesus. This is also a calling upon our hearts and is no less important in touching the lives of others for Jesus. I want to bring stories, I want to bring stories to you from some very special people I have been blessed to know and to love. Each person received a calling upon their heart to leave their lives here behind and go where God was calling them. Because of the extreme dangers to their lives and to their family, and to those that they have worked with, the names will be changed. It is often the case in countries around the world that Christians are hated and despised. They and their family may face years of imprisonment or death. The families they reach out to, if caught, face imprisonment for years of torture or death for themselves and their families. I personally know of some who have taken their beautiful families and moved to a predominantly Muslim country in Africa. The calling upon their heart could not be ignored and they could not, they could not look the other way. They took their children and went to a remote village in Africa. Incredible demands were made upon them as a young family with small children. Bob began a school to teach the children how to read and write and brought God's holy word into the classroom. Lisa not only took care of her own small children, she worked with young mothers, teaching them simple hygiene and providing basic medical care, bringing both, bring, both bringing God's holy word to the people who had never heard of Jesus. Many in the village came to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Danger was always a breath away. Word had come to them from other villages that Christian missionaries were being captured, tortured, and murdered as a warning to any who would allow them to enter their villages. Anyone practicing Christianity would be imprisoned or put to death. Children would be torn from their mother's arms. Mothers and fathers burned to death in front of their family. Even with these atrocities, God's holy word could not be contained, and so many answered the call of Jesus upon their hearts. Baptisms would take place in the jungle away from the villages in a river or a stream. This precious family was brought home to America to evangelize in the churches for a much needed rest. After a year of sharing what God was doing in Africa, each member of the family has chosen to return to the villages where God had called them to serve. I personally have known another man and wife team who spent more than 20 years working in the underground churches of China. Paul and his wife Angela had sold everything they owned to go to China and bring the good news of Jesus to a land and government that tortures and imprisons anyone even caught with the Christian literature. These wonderful people dedicated their lives to preach God's holy word and bring the love of Jesus Christ to hundreds across China. Because of their dedication to Jesus and others like them, there are now millions giving their lives to Jesus. Even in the face of death, God's holy word and not be silenced. I must be very cautious about saying more of these and other missionaries that I know who have gone to China. The government continues to seek out those who, who are missionaries and, and even where their families are from. God protects and provides. We must trust and follow with the love and, and in faith. There are many that I could write about all over the world. What's important is that God's hope is that God's holy word is reaching out and touching lives for Jesus. Yes, even in these troubling times, with ever-growing evil around the world, men and women are answering the call in their hearts to serve Jesus. Matthew 28, 16, 20, also known as the Great Commission, Jesus commanded his disciples to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This wasn't just a good idea or a suggestion. It was a commandment from, our, from and by our Lord Jesus. We as Christians are each called upon to continue this work, bringing the good news to all. With the full armor of God and seeking Abba in prayer, each of us can answer a call to bring God's love, mercy, heal, and healing touch, and forgiveness to all we meet. May these words touch your heart and inspire each of you to serve others with the love Christ of Christ our Lord. God bless and keep you. 
Thank you for taking the time to listen.